All right, welcome back to No Man's Sky Expeditions. So, off camera is the way people usually say it, but uh, I collected some more salvage data because I want to get a medium refiner because I need some more cash because I have some things I want to do with the cash. There's various ways to make cash, but uh, if I can refine, say, chlorine, that would be ideal. And uh, let's go ahead and summon the anomaly real quick. And we'll hop in and uh, I'll buy the uh, medium refiner recipe and also uh, over the weekend I was streaming on Twitch to get the drops and uh, so all those drops should be available here I don't think I'm gonna claim them um, here anyway but uh, I've got all the drops except I purposely stopped watching uh, because I don't I only stream on the weekends so I stopped watching on Monday before I could get the shuttle drop on the principle of the thing. I will not take a free shuttle. But anyway, if we go in here and I talk to this guy, the Quicksilver guy, uh, you can collect expedition rewards. You can also collect Twitch rewards. So if I look at the Twitch rewards, um, I got uh, the Antimatter Jetpack Trail. Look at all this good stuff that I got. Look at all of it. And uh, we got the Ultimate Pride um, ship, the, uh, the hauler, which looks pretty cool. The fighter, uh, you know, I don't like the square windows, so I can scrap that. Um, I don't like... I like this style of uh, explorer, but uh, I don't like the wings on it. And, uh, oh, there's two two spaceships. Or two fighters, I should say. Wow. Look at that. And I got this cool helmet, and I got all the different trails and stuff like that. But uh, we're not going to claim anything right now. But they're there. And I can claim them on any save on this account. Uh, this is my Steam account. Anyway, um, let's see. Can I talk to you? I don't need to talk to you. Let's just go and uh, get the stuff we're here for. Then I'll find a system that sells chlorine, and you can combine oxygen and chlorine to get a lot more chlorine, and then you can sell chlorine. So let's see. Let's go over to technology. There, medium refiner for 10. It's really all I need. I mean, I could grab the large refiner as well. Let's grab the large refiner. What are the requirements for the medium? Yeah, the medium's easy. It's just magnetized ferrite into hydrogen jelly. The large, if you want to combine three things, I might at some point in the future, but I don't now. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab the teleporter, which I can put on the freighter, which will be convenient. And I will grab a landing pad just to finish up the collection. Okay. So now we'll go to a space station, find one that's, that's uh, selling chlorine, and then I'll refine a bunch of it to make money. And then we'll continue our expedition. Let's see. This was the first system. This was the second. This is where we are now. Uh, let's, let's try this one. This was the starter system. I don't know if this had chlorine or not. Let go of me. System 5 system. Department of Redundancy Department. Uh, chlorine? No chlorine? Most unfortunate. Let's check the other side. Run full speed into the doors. Kabam. Kabam. Uh, here we are, right here. You have any chlorine on this side? You have ammonia. Right, the hunt is on for some chlorine. Uh, this would be... Let's try this one. Oh, uh, maybe this was the starter system. Was this the starter system? I mean, I'm wrong about which one was the starter system. Yes. This was the starter system discovered three years ago by Dan the Man. Right. Okay. Does the starter system have chlorine? It did. All right. I will buy it all for 1.151 million. That's a lot. Whatever. Easy come, easy go. And then I'll buy all your oxygen for 101,000. There's my freighter, right on the other side of the rings. So, let's pulse over there. Yeah. 
and uh, we can kind of see it. There it is. I wish it was flipped the other direction. Let's get up and then hit the brakes. And where's the entrance to the thing? There it is. No, I'm not going to shoot my own cargo hole. I wonder what happens if you do. Hmm. Could I steal from myself? And somehow make a profit? <laughs> One medium refiner, and for some reason it wants to go, oops, wants to go the other way. So uh, hold down Alt and rotate with the thumb wheel on the PC, which is pretty slow, but there is the front. There is the front of the medium refiner. We'll put it down. Cannot build missing components. Oh dear. Oh, uh, I hope it doesn't lose the rotation. Let's get that five dihydrogen jelly. I can only build four dihydrogen jelly, really. All right, well, let's do the let's do the trick then, where we uh, make more dihydrogen uh, out of the dihydrogen jelly. Did I empty this? Yes. Thank goodness. Yeah, so that makes two hundred dihydrogen. Now can I make? Uh, now I can make five dihydrogen jelly. See how that works. <laughs> and yes, it remembered the rotation. There is the medium refiner. So you open up the medium refiner after you get out of the build menu. There's the medium refiner. And you put chlorine on the top. And you put oxygen on the bottom. And you can see that it's basically 1 to 6, 2 to 6. We're going to make 4,000 chlorine out of 1543 chlorine. Actually, this is just the max. And uh, it's not the fastest process in the world, but it has a nice hum to it. And uh, I'll be doing this for a little bit. And I will also put down a teleport, teleporter, put it in the corner here. And then I can uh, teleport to places to uh, buy or sell stuff from ships. Um, you can also buy and sell stuff from the ships that land in your freighter. It's very green. I, I don't like the way that the interior of the freighter takes on the color of whatever solar system you're in. Because uh, I don't like green. We may have to move just because I don't like green. <laughs> Anyway, um, if we look at this, um, see how it's going gonna, it's gonna to make 4,095. If I go ahead and take this out, we're still going to make 4,095. So you can see, and this is worth decent money. You can see the units piling up. This is a very fast way to make money. Uh, I recommend it if you want to make money real fast. And um, if we go over to Expedition, and I think, is it Phase, phase 5? It's the money bags. So we can get jackpot, um, earn a million units in a single sale, and uh, where's money bags? Oh wow, they expect you to do money bags by phase two. Earn uh, six million units. So when I sell this stuff, uh, we're going to easily get the money bags. Um, this rewards more inventory slots, and all the refiner plans that I just bought, uh, this will give me more personal... Oh no, actually this will give the personal refiner plans, which I already bought, because I, I can't wait for that. i got to have the personal refiner already. And then what is the, what is the, uh, the phase five, earn a million in a single sale. Uh, you get a bunch of alloy crafting blueprints and a bunch of geodesite, which you can then sell for good money. Or refine down maybe for better money. I don't know. I've never refined it. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing for a little bit to earn some cash. All right. So I need more dihydrogen and the fastest way I know to get dihydrogen um, at least since the the next gen update a few updates ago is to slowly cruise around on the planet and uh, Preferably without storms. I tell you what uh, my luck here has not been good and uh, Shoot at dihydrogen and you can get a lot of dihydrogen at once You can get some of the uh, condensed carbon there see that as long as it doesn't take the advanced mining laser You can get it you cannot get sodium nitrate because that requires the advanced mining laser uh, you see what I'm doing here. And sometimes, if you can't get this stuff to pop, land, and then take off again. Some of these things are plants, I believe. Did I get any carbon? I'm getting some carbon. I have 918 carbon. So I'm getting more carbon than I thought I was. I, typically, and I don't know, I can't explain the rhyme or reason to it, but... If you can shoot smaller plants, like these small little green plants here, and the little green with purple plants there, um, those shoot easily with the ship. The larger plants, like trees and such, it's hit or miss. 
Sometimes you can get them, and sometimes they just they just don't take any damage from your ship's weapons. You can kill bad plants too for the oxygen. Yeah, here's some more plants. Might as well. We're gonna get some more ferrite. There's some dihydrogen there. Wow, it even showed me a buried technology module. I don't remember that ever happening before. Maybe that's part of the new heads-up display fixes. Maybe so. There's some more. All right. Uh, with the gun overheating, I think I got a lot of stuff. Uh, 901 to hydrogen. I'd love to have thousands and thousands of it, but we just don't. I've got an embarrassing amount of ferrite, and those will also give you pure ferrite, too. So, uh, let's see what we ended up with. 3,159 carbon, 80 condensed carbon, 6,000 plus ferrite dust, 977 dihydrogen. We got plenty of stuff. Let's go back to the freighter. Alright, I'm gonna summon the freighter just above the rings, because I think that looks cool. So let's summon it. There we go, right above the rings, right about there. Beautiful. There we go. Let's get back in, catch a save. The smart thing to do would be to have gotten a save on the planet. Just in case this goes horribly wrong. Uh, I've fallen out of a freighter once. But let's make sure we can get a save here. There we go. Restore point saved. I'll do it again just to be sure. Right. Restore point saved. You know that restore point saved kind of looks like a restroom sign. Just saying. Alright. I've maxed out the chlorine in this refiner now. We've only got 631 oxygen left. And uh, so I'll start moving the chlorine to the exosuit now. And uh, if we look at how much I've got in the exosuit... Um, yeah, we already had some there. I was putting it in cargo. So we currently have uh, a cool 1.6 million units of chlorine, just like that. And we're making a lot more. But I'm gonna need ox I'm gonna need more oxygen, uh, so I'm gonna have to sell that. I can get that that uh, I can sell that and get the the milestone. I also want to clean up this freighter room a bit. Freighters are a lot of work. They really are. I, I it's the freighter concept is so cool, and I can't think of a better way to do it. But it's not one of my favorite things to do in the game. Let me see if I can catch a ship here and sell to a pilot. Uh, of course not. There's nobody here at the moment. I think they just left. So let's just wait for a ship to land and then we'll sell to it. There we go. Finally. Let's talk to this guy. Your ship is horribly lopsided. Alright, hold still, dude. Come on. Yes, we're going to sell items to you. I have some chlorine. Demand is plus 2.9%. I'm going to get 1.712, which is going to finish an achievement. So, thank you so much. And, um, let's get that achievement. Yes, jackpot. Made one million in one sale. <laughs> I'm only here for the achievements, man. Alright. Um, let's see. What, what do you got for sale? You don't have much. Uh, yeah, you're really just somebody to sell to. And uh, the shuttle's leaving, so... I'm gonna have to go to a space station to buy more oxygen now that I have the cash. So I'll do that really quick so I can continue the refining. I want to get up to three medium refiners. All right, one thing to note is that on the freighters, the inventory of the pilots is going to be the same as it is on trading posts, at trading posts, in which case they don't have a full set of uh, supplies. Whereas in the space station, they mimic the supply that you can get at the space station, kind of. It's, it's not the same set of supplies, but they have more of the goods that you would expect. Like for instance, this guy has oxygen, which will buy 
And uh, he also has more chlorine, which I could buy. Uh, but we have plenty of chlorine. I'm, I'm doubling the chlorine all the time. So really all I want is oxygen. So what I'm going to do then is uh, look at the nose on that thing. Watch, watch yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to buy oxygen from all these pilots. Now, some of the pilots also share their inventory. So you might come to this guy and he will be out of oxygen and you know he's the same inventory uh, as another pilot. But luckily this guy has lots of oxygen so let's buy it. One more ship. This hauler. Uh, do you have oxygen? You do. Ooh. 2259. You have more than those other ships. I wonder if the supply is now dictated based on the size of the ship. I'd like to think it is because that would be neat. But I haven't I haven't seen that consistently in the past. Well, anyway, uh, it's I've got plenty of oxygen now, so it's back to the uh, pool supply grind here. Make some more chlorine, I make some big money, and then spend it. Where did I park? Uh, right over there. You might also notice that there's no streaky colored lines now when I pulse and fly in space. One mod has been, or has always worked, I didn't know it, but it has always worked with this update. So here on PC, I can uh, use that mod. And the link to the mod is in the description if you're a PC player and you want to use it to get rid of those crazy colored lines. I'd still like the mod that reduces the asteroid fields, but uh, it hasn't been updated last I checked. This is the DS7 Kazakita. I should probably rename it. Alright, did we, did we really get a save? A lot of pointy nose fighters all over the place. Yeah, let's see. Uh, freighter. Yeah, this is uh, Big Fred. There. That's how I always name my freighters. I'm not very inventive. It's Big Fred. All right, all three are humming along now. And uh, I just keep going here and babysitting them by reloading this. And then I'll put this in the exosuit. All right, now let's go see uh, what's up with the mission. And if there's another easy mission, I can send it out on. Because I still haven't bought any more frigates. So let's run up here. You know, now the green's appropriate since I'm making so much chlorine. This is obviously a chlorine gas leak. It's making all this green. Alright, we have one frigate back. Let's see how it did. Fleet Command Online. Calibrating Fleet Command. DSV Pride of Bama Wama Wama Basaya. Hey, distance covered 972 light years. Log entry 233. Dispatch scouts. It has a whole story here that you can read. Encounter damaged freighter drifting through the Makan system. Dispatch shuttles to investigate. No sign of freighter crew. Stripped hull for, for valuable components. Unrefined pyrite grease. Surveyed planet. Nothing of interest found. Performed botanical survey. Crew followed extensive root system into shallow cave. Roots were a tuber system supporting carnivorous plants with tooth-like structures. Crew departed cave. Drones deployed to finish survey. Collected two sac venom. Great. Uh, returned to the home to the fleet. And that's all we get. Okay. So there we go. We get some unrefined pyrite grease and a couple of sac venom. That's great. Are there any super easy missions I can send this this thing out on? Ah, uh, uh, fresh, fresh glory. Uh, let's see. Uh, difficulty rating one. Ah, this is only an hour. Oh, there's some short ones still. Difficulty rating one. Difficulty rating one. Uh, let's send you out on the balanced one. An hour and 29 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be back here for an hour anyway. Difficulty rating is just one. Uh, you shouldn't get hurt. Theoretically. I don't know how much fuel I have. Do I have enough fuel? 50 tons? I, apparently I do. Launch expedition. Whoosh. There it goes. Don't look at me like that. Look at that. Look at the way he's looking at me. Look, pal. You can be replaced. You understand what I'm saying? All right, hear that sound? That's the sound money makes. 
I'm gonna stop each one of these now. I've got enough. Um, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna leave this in the output just so I can start the process up again. And uh, we're gonna move all this stuff to the exosuit now. I went out and bought some more sodium nitrate and stuff, but I didn't sell the chlorine yet because uh, I'm, we're gonna get the money bags um, achievement. So uh, I'm a little worried about saving. So I'm gonna go, well, we'll take a chance. I, I saved halfway through this process. So worst case scenario is if we crash, I have to do the second half over again. And after I sell this stuff, I'm going to want to go through the black hole to get the glyphs. Uh, because when you go through the, a black hole, you get all the glyphs. And uh, the black hole, unlike what normal black holes do, takes you right back to the starter system. Uh, so that makes it easy. But uh, to make it a little easier to get there, I'm going to go ahead and buy a cheap upgrade to the hyperdrive. If you have one here. There's no reason to get an S upgrade but if I can find a couple of C's, well you only have one C, that may be enough just to increase the range a little bit alright, uh, let's get this thing installed uh, where is the hyperdrive? I put it back in technology where did I put it? pulse engine, hyperdrive right there, okay this adds what, 79 light years? yeah, that's good enough good enough and uh, I think I've got fuel in the hyperdrive so we'll wait for a few ships to land here, and uh, we'll sell to the first sucker that comes in. Here comes a fighter. I believe Polo all already showed me a black hole, I think. If not, I need to talk to Polo to get him to show me a black hole. I guess I'll find out quickly enough. Let's sell items to the life form. Hopefully the chlorine market isn't, uh, isn't crashed. Uh, the demand is minus 0.8. It's not great, but you know, for 42,340,000, I will take it, so... Lay it on me. <laughs> Let's watch it scroll up. There it goes. There it is. 42 million. Give me the money bags. Money bags. Money bags is my middle name. All right. Uh, I'm not going to claim these rewards yet. And uh, we're going to catch a save. In. It's really loud here, isn't it? In and out. We've caught a save. All right. Now. Let me rem remember if I got the black hole coordinates or not. And uh, we'll do this by going to the going to the galaxy map. And uh, it doesn't look like I did. Yeah, I did. Got the black hole. Okay, go. Past selected black hole, and then I accidentally filtered on life form. Okay, where do we need to go? Uh, it's right down here, and now with the extended range, 169 light years, I can make it in one warp. So, here we go. When I did this on stream, it didn't break any equipment, so I think this is just a special of expedition mode. Uh, we'll find out, though. And, uh, 2 fresh 909 discovered it, the Ascenti system. And we're going right to the black hole. So hang on to your hats. Here we go. And where do we end up? Right back where we started. <laughs> And uh, I got the achievement, but it looks like I tabbed out of it. Okay. Black hole warp successful. Oh, it damaged some stuff. Man, I could have moved it in back. Jeepers. Alright, fix it. Uh, I need... Uh, there we go. I got everything I need. Okay. It's, it's repaired. Anything else broken? No. Well, I didn't have any room back in the back anyway. Alright. So, let's go ahead and claim that. Uh, let's see. New reward. Here it is. See how it says Phase 2, New Reward? Uh, Event Horizon. Uh, go through a black hole. Collection. 16 of 16 glyphs obtained. It's very, very subtle background sound, but I got the portal glyph set. Alright, great. Uh, let's go back into the space station. Cause I got plans. 
I got plans. Hey, map guy. Listen, uh, exchange for specific charts. I need these. And we'll... Oh, I can only afford two. Well, let's hope one of them works. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't. Here we go. Whoosh. Alien monolith detected. How about that? First try. Alright, of course it's first try. Now I have an extra chart. And then I remembered I can get Viking daggers from ships that land. Or I, I think this is a Viking system. I'm actually not sure. It could be a Gek. But anyway, I can get what I need from ships that land on the freighter. I just have to wait for them to land. That was a opportune discovery. Because I thought they had the same inventory they did on the space station, but I was wrong. And uh, sometimes it takes a little while, but it didn't... Look at that big thing. Kaboom. This is a Corvax system, of course. Of course. And I can't get around this ship's big propeller things. Let me around. There. Hey, man. Need to buy some stuff. Buy items. Uh, yeah, we need the Corvax casing. I'll get two of them, just in case I screw up. I don't think I need the convergence cube. I forget every time. I'll buy two of these and one of these. And I swear I'll toss them if I don't need it. All right, good. So I got what I needed. Now let's go and talk to the monolith. Nice quick landing. All right, let's try not to screw this up. Let me go get some words. Entity is the the entity is what? Uh, R. I feel faint, as if my mind is being invaded. Pustules on my skin grow, bubble and pop. I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks scrabbling from each gaping hole. Suddenly metal spiders, perhaps tiny sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real. I start to scream. I'm going to wait, because the Corvax love this stuff. Got it. The hallucination... Hallucinization... No. The hallucination fades. I have passed some sort of test. A reward materializes. I learned the Atlas word for Atlas. All right. They accept my presence. Corvax casing. Locate a portal. There we go. Where is the portal? Should be on this planet somewhere. Ooh, new icon. There's a portal, 22 hours away. Why don't we fly there? All right, here's the portal. I'm on the wrong side. Teleporter by who? What? What did you say? Well, I appreciate the, I, I appreciate you marking this anyway. Uh, there's a bunch of markings around this. Cool. Tourists restful sleep. I should have plenty of stuff, except maybe for this. I don't have any copper, cadmium, emerald, indium, or activated. Oh, I didn't realize you could use activated copper. Also, uh, took this out of two inventories. Alright, so I need copper. Hmm. Well, if I needed gold... Oh, there's copper right there. Alright. We're running up that hill. Do -do -do. Yeah, it's not one of my favorite activities. But when you don't have any copper, you need to do this. I could have easily gotten enough material by going to a red star, I think, which takes chromatic metal. I think red's the first one, right? And then it would give me enough cadmium to not only make a cadmium drive, but uh, also give me enough to charge a portal. But that's the way it goes. We got plenty. There, we got plenty. 
Let's get back down to the portal. It's convenient that it was just right here. For us noobs that always forget. Alright, where was I? Right. Copper. Traveler detected. Whatever I do here, I should do it quickly. Sure. Activate the portal. Alright, here we go. I have the address. It is... Bird. Bird. Balloon. Tent. Atlas. Rockets. Another bird. Another balloon. Another atlas. And then galaxy. And face face. There we go. And away we go. Hang time. Well, look, it's the Snodla system, and it was discovered by Tolacram. Hmm. What a strange coincidence. Yeah, where's my ship? See my ship? Oh, it's, it's in the back again. Creatures all around here. Oh, I landed on this planet. Worm. You can hardly see it in the storm, but there it is. Right. Worm. Holy, holy, sh holy ground shake. All right. So here we are. Let's get up to. Space station here. There it is, right over here. Welcome aboard the Tola Fukino Inc. station. All right, so in this system, there are two ships that land, and I've only been able to successfully find them at the station but uh, others have been able to find them down in trading posts and that is uh, a little white there's actually two exotics a red uh, mosquito exotic uh, I'd, I'd forget what the mosquito is and a white one but also my favorite fighter stub lands here it can take a while for him to land though so I'm gonna be sitting here waiting impatiently until um, that ship lands and uh, I dare I say it's not going to be the first one. But you never know. It could be the first one. It could be the very first one that lands. It's a C-15. It's going to take a lot of upgrades. But that was quick. Give me my ship. I'll take the C. I can always take an S if it lands later. This is my ship, man. Make an offer on your starship. Look at it. Look at it. Yep, negotiate a price. Sure, I'll buy it for 550000 Thank you. I'll stay a little bit longer and see if anything else interesting lands. All right, another iteration of Stub landed. This is a, uh, a B class with a little more storage. And, um, yeah, I'll locate the pilot. I uh, removed everything from my Explorer, but I didn't put anything in the first one I found. So we'll go ahead and make an offer on the Lifeform Starship. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit better. We'll negotiate a price. And uh, here's the current Starship, which is the C stub. Here is the B stub. It's, a, it's like a dance step. Let's go ahead and exchange it. Because I don't want to have too many Starships, so let's go exchange it. We're exchanging up to a B class. Um. All right, the uh, guppy, that's the name I was looking for, never landed. So I am uh, reloading 
and seeing if Stubb is in fact a wave one fighter or whether that was just lucky because I honestly don't know how that works. So we'll take a look and if it doesn't land first time in then uh, we're done. Uh, I'll upgrade. Uh, I've got the, the, the B version of Stubb and I'll upgrade him and uh, we'll be out of here. Nope, definitely not the first one. So after a reload, the first one is that pointy nose. All right, well, I don't have time to sit here all day and do this. So I'm going to take the B version of the stub and let's claim some rewards. Um, let's see, we can claim money bag. So let's go ahead and claim it. Inventory slot times three personal refiner plans. I already have the personal refiner, so. But I'll take those inventory slots. There we go. And they're free. But in normal mode, these are cheaper. I'll take this hole in the middle. And I'll take that one. And then I'll put the last one. Let's see. Let's start filling out technology. And there's the personal refiner recipe, which I already have. And now, uh, let's see. What else can we claim? Uh, here's a new reward. Phase 5. We can do the jackpot. And we can get some geodesite recipes and uh, a bunch of recipes and uh, what landed yeah, another explorer there we go and uh, we got a lot of stuff we can sell or refine and I think what they're trying to hint at here is uh, well I don't know I did them in a different order but you can refine most of that into stuff that'll make you some more money uh, so if we look at what landed here, this geodesite, uh, what is this refined into? I do not know. Let's check it out. Let's make sure this is full of the gas. And uh, if we try to refine this down, we get uh, alloy separation. We get 1,250 platinum. So this is worth 750,000. Let's see how much 1,250 platinum is worth. 631,000. It's not worth as much. Yeah, this is worth 750. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. I took a whole stack of five and I turned it into a stack of 1,250 platinum. Now, platinum still refines to 35 nanites. If that's your thing, getting nanites. But um, I'd rather just, I just want the money. So I'm just going to sell that stuff straight out. And uh, we'll sell it to uh, we'll sell it to a pilot here. Um, we'll sell it to you. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and sell items, and uh, let's see what we got here. We got the platinum for six hundred twenty-six thousand that we'll sell, and uh, we've got the geodesite for two million, which we'll sell. There we go. And that was everything we got out of that. Um, I don't want to carry around this convergence cube, so there you go. Congratulations. And uh, we'll keep we'll keep a hold of the Corvax casing. That's all I wanted to sell here. Yep. And uh, what are you going to buy? What do you have to buy? Uh, microprocessors? No, I don't need those right now. We'll go ahead and buy all your oxygen just because if I, if I want to get be even richer than I am now. And uh, I'll take your sodium nitrate. And that's it for now. Okay. And uh, I don't think I'm... Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a B-17 versus a B-17-3. Okay. So there are two stubs in the house. But uh, we're hanging on to this one. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need two. One is fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and rename it. And this will be uh, not some ancestral regret, but stub, stub two. There we go. I'm, I'm happy. I tried to like the explorers, but I didn't. Now let's go ahead and uh, upgrade stub. In the old upgrade thing, there's some, there's some happening. Things are happening. Hopefully I don't miss it. There's always a chance that that exotic will come in, but I don't think so. If we hear it, we'll go get it. So let's see. Uh, let's upgrade the starship. 
And uh, let's see, let's apply augmentation. I don't know how many I have, but uh, that'll be good there. That'll be good there. That'll be good there. I had three of them. All right. Just, just take a look here. Two haulers that came in. That, that, that pinkish one. And uh, two ball haulers came in. All right. And then uh, what do we got? I got. I'm loaded with cash, honestly. So, uh, what kind of upgrades can we do here? Can we buy? We can. Uh, we can upgrade the starship. How much does storage cost? Yeah, five million units. That's not something I want to do right now. Um, how much? How much do I have? I have forty-two million. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, sure. Six million, seven million. I got twenty-four million left. Easy come, easy go. Uh, technology should go to the second row eventually after I fill this out. I'm not going to purchase anymore. All right. And now I have how much money? Sixteen million. That's still enough to buy an explorer if it comes in, but I don't think it is. So here we go. We're back in the stub, man. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, let's get back. It's, uh, so let's see, the, I think it's the Gleber Exchange was the first one? No, this one. Lacarda. Yeah, let's work back. And, uh, yeah, this is discovered by Dan. So we're back, uh, into the expedition home system, and, uh, life is good. And, uh, when we come back, uh, we gotta, we gotta do some more milestones here. Um, I've gotta scan for plants. If we go back to phase one, to finish phase one, I'm gonna get, uh, what is that, six more creatures. And, uh, that's it. And then we can reach the first rendezvous and we can clear off phase one. And then for phase two, uh, let's see, explore specific environments, the sightseer, that should be pretty easy. The farmer, we need to farm some plants. Uh, spend 30 seconds airborne. That's actually pretty easy to do on the first rendezvous planet in the storm and then red skies visit a red star That's also really easy to do, uh, but that'll have to be for next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later